girl of the past is to remain a child. Okay, but I mean, who doesn't like children? Children are innocent. Children are cheerful. Children are lovely. So what's wrong with being a child among them? But children also, um, children, They want, they want everything, and, and they pretend to have it immediately. But this is not possible. Um, they, children only leave the present concentrated in, in their needs. When we grow up, we understand that we do have roots. So we understand that we're just some dots in the universe, that we are lines in a huge web of relationships. And, and so we understand that we are part of history and that everybody is involved with no experience. When I was, when I was a child, it has been shocking to find out that Genoa isn't the capital of Italy, and that, and that, and and that people in the south hemisphere don't actually stand upside up. So, but um, on the other side, um, adults often just think about the past and the future. And, and they risk to meet with presidents. In fact, uh, we are sometimes suspended between regrets, memories, hopes, and, and perspectives. So we often forget to live our lives. So what should we do? Let's see what where does where the topic sentence comes from? Because we were talking about the importance of history. The topic sentence comes from a teacher's quote. Um, in the Latin and in the Greek culture, history was really important. In fact, for a classical man, um, oblivion was a taboo, and and it was one of the biggest. Um, aim to be remembered forever. Um, in the Iliad, um, men were like children because they they couldn't control themselves. They act, acted like possessed by divinity. Odysseus, instead, was a modern man because he. He used to remember everything, so he, he managed to create a narrative, and so he really had a um, historical memory. Um, another important idea that we have taken from the past is that um, we always learn from our mistakes and that knowledge automatically, automatically brings us to um, Bad for choices, right choices. But is it really true? I mean, uh, how many um, horrible crimes humans have committed with consciousness? And saying that, um, I don't, I don't want to mean that uh, history is not important, that we can ignore history. But I do think that history should be experienced and not just accumulation of cognitive information. So I think that we should really reflect and discuss and internalize all the teachings from the past to live in society and to create our thoughts.